Uh, hello. Uh, today I just want to go over some uh, spelling and pronunciation tricks with you <clears throat> that I'm hoping will, will give you a hand uh, and might be useful for you. Um, first, let's look at some progressive verbs. If your verb ends in the letter E, like hope or write, you just drop the letter E and you add ing. And the reason for doing this is to maintain the long vowel sound in your word. For, and when I talk about a long vowel sound, what I mean is um, the vowel, the way we pronounce it when it's in the alphabet, like hope, o, or right, i. So I want to keep that, I want to maintain that sound, so I just drop the e and add ing. If your verb ends in the letter i, this is the only example I can think of, you would just add ing, like ski, skiing. If your verb ends in ie, like tie or die, you change your ie to y and you add ing. If you have a verb that ends in a vowel plus the letter Y, like stay, you just add ing. And if it ends in a consonant plus the letter Y, like cry, C-R-Y, you would just add ing. Very simple. And if you have a one-syllable verb that ends with a short vowel and the letter C, and I can't think of any that would end with a long vowel anyway. So uh, you double your consonant. So hit, hitting, H-I-T-T-I-N-G. But it ends with a consonant, vowel consonant, so I double my consonant. Run, sit, sitting, run, running, etc. And the reason why I wanted to I talk to, about this is because look how the pronunciation changes when you double your consonant. In this case, I write write is my verb writing, but here when I double my consonant, I say written. So my verb becomes, uh, my consonant rather, my vowel, sorry, becomes a short vowel sound, written. And in this one, it's writing. So when I double the consonant, it changes the way I pronounce this vowel. Hope is hoping, because it ends with an E, but hop, like a little rabbit, is hopping, H-O-P-P-I-N-G. Uh, next, this is what I explained in class really quickly about uh, two-syllable words when you have your stress on your first syllable and on your second syllable. If your stress is on your first syllable, like open, I don't say open, I'm not going to open the door, I'm going to open the door. So my stress is on the first syllable, I do not double my consonant, opening. Same thing with visit, I don't visit you, I visit you. So I do not double my consonant, visiting happen, happening. But if I have a two-syllable word, and again it ends with vowel consonant, I and my stress is on the second syllable, I double that final consonant, except when my verb ends in W like snow, uh, X like fix, and Y like play. We saw the examples with uh, the letter Y up here. <clears throat> so uh, I would say begin. I don't say begin, say begin. So when I double that one, I need to double my consonant. Beginning with two ends. Forget, forgetting, commit, committing. So if you don't know um, where your stress is, you can of course look in a dictionary, but probably if you just say the word out loud, you'll be able to say it correctly. Okay, I want to go to another one really quickly. Uh, this one is quite a bit longer. I'll put it on our site, uh, on our team page, but I just thought it might be interesting for you to look at. Okay, so words that come to English from other languages, like French or Latin, have different pronunciation patterns and aren't pronounced like they in that foreign language. So, in all of these examples, uh, you put your stress on the syllable before the ending indicated. So, for example, here my ending is ity, and I need to put the stress, I've got three syllables, a, Bill, I, I've got four syllables. Ah, Bill, I, T. Four syllables in this um, word. But I need to put the stress on the syllable just before the itty. So I'm going to say ability, density. And it's the same thing for all of these endings. Ick, academic, geographic, or um, ional, emotional emotional, educational. 
Uh, one that I find interesting because people always make mistakes with it is graphy or ography. It should be really. Let's see here if I can change that. Oh, graphy. Uh, so I would say photography, autobiography. But I say the word photograph. Photograph. The stress is on the first syllable. Photograph. But photography. Photographer. So you can have a look at all of these. The next ones uh, in this section, the syllable stress is two syllables before the suffixes. So if here's my suffix is A-T-E. When it is a noun and, or an adjective, it rhymes with the word it, like desperate, legitimate. When it's A-T-E and it's a verb, it rhymes with the number eight, like eight, appreciate. So in this case, I want my stress to be two syllables before the suffix A-T-E. So it's a desperate, legitimate, temperate, autograph, photograph, and with the A-T-E verbs, appreciate, calculate, educate, and you see all of these different endings like different, influence. So these are some useful tricks. Uh, the words in this section, they, the stress is on the suffix. So at the very end, lemonade, parade, Japanese, Chinese, diagnosis, halitosis, mm -hmm. uh, unique, balloon, raccoon, arthritis, bronchitis. And nouns and verbs uh, that come from French or Latin that have the same spelling, but they don't have the same syllable stress. If the word is a noun, the stress is on the first syllable, like conduct, conduct, rather, conduct. But if it's my verb, I would say conduct, conflict, conflict, contract, contract, decrease, decrease, decrease. So I've got lots of examples. I only have a few here, but if you want more, you can contact me and we'll give you uh, other examples. These are the words that are most commonly mispronounced by people learning English. So I would suggest you have a look at them, try to figure out how to pronounce them. You could uh, underline the stress or put a little line by the stress or something and check with me uh, later if you're interested. But just to give you a couple of examples, I would say agency, comfortable, Development. This is one that everybody gets wrong unless they grow up speaking English. Development. In this one I say develop. Development. Mm -hmm. Vegetable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these ones come back to the IT, ITY rule, which is that my stress is on the syllable before the ending that is indicated. So I'm just going to go through a couple of these words, and then, again, you can look at them yourself. Like able, but ability. Active. You see it's on this first syllable, active. But when I put the I-T-Y, I say activity. Uh, agile. Agility. Capable. Capability. Flexible. Flexibility. Native, nativity, possible, possibility, etc. So uh, this one I wanted to point out, responsible, responsibility. Just I wanted to point that one out because people always spell it incorrectly in, in English, uh, people who are learning English. Uh, okay, so I hope that this helps. And um, I will give you these documents on our team page as well. So, uh, or, or, or no, on our OneNote. Thank you.